eBay Incorporated is an American company which offers consumer-to-consumer -consumer transactions on the internet. eBay allows customers to sell, buy, or auction different items. It started in 1995 and has become one of the first companies to become a success as a result of the dot-com bubble. It has its headquarters in San Jose, California and had revenue of $14 billion in the year 2012 eBay allows a platform for an auction of an item and shopping for retail goods, which allows people to buy products from the comfort of their homes. The beginning of the company eBay was not as straightforward as you might imagine. It was an Iranian-American computer programmer, Pierre Omidar's idea to start a website that auctioned used, broken, and secondhand stuff. He called the website Auction Web, and it was started on September 3rd, 1995. He did not take his website that seriously, and just considered it a side hobby. But soon, the traffic on his site increased, and he was soon asked by his internet service provider to upgrade his account in order to accommodate the amount of traffic that was accessing his site. For paying for the upgradation, which was around $250, he asked the users to pay a fee to access the site. He was surprised to see that people were happy to pay and continued using the site regularly. So eventually, Omidar had to hire an employee just to handle the checks that were coming to his office for the payments. In 1996, Jeffrey Skoll became his first president. The growth it was experienced was phenomenal, and it needed someone who could offer the proper structure for the company to grow and make most use of public interest it was gaining day by day. In January 1997 alone, the site hosted 2 million auctions, which was 8 times more than the whole number of auctions in 1996. In September 1997, the company changed its name to eBay.com. That very year, it received funding from venture capitalist Benchmark Capital to the tune of $6.7 million. eBay went public on September 21st. 1998, on the first day itself, the share price went up to $53.50. This made Omidar and Skull overnight billionaires, with Meg Whiteman taking over as CEO and president in 1998. Every detail was looked into and upgraded to make it a better experience for the customer. Soon, eBay expanded and started to include many more categories other than the auction category. Their business started increasing and the company bought PayPal in October 2002. In 2005, eBay bought Skype for $2.5 billion and sold it to Microsoft in 2011 for $8.5 billion. Soon, they had launched individual websites for various countries with special focus on the local demands and limitations. In 2008, the company had millions of registered users, more than 15,000 employees, and revenues around $7.7 .7 billion. Today, it sells everything from appliances to domain names, to software, to vehicles, to furniture, and everything that is not prohibited under that country's law. It offers the latest products and discounts in addition to the rage and excitement of the auction place. The auction place has taken the interest of many people who wait to buy used goods at lower rates, and those who want to buy collectibles. eBay has become the best source for every customer's needs. This model has been copied and used in many countries like India and Japan before eBay had entered and started their own local website there eBay generates its revenue by taking a commission for every auction or sale that is made on the website. It depends whether it is a fixed rate product or a product up for auctions. Sometimes they charge up to 10% on the sale, other than the shipping charges. The rates differ from the US in the European countries and South Asia. Today, eBay is one of the biggest companies that sell products online. It has built a huge customer base for itself that prompts even the top companies to showcase their products and offers through eBay, so it can get the attention of the global audience. From selling broken laser lights and old appliances, eBay has become a global marketplace where you can find what you need at a price that you can afford. Today, it is one of the top 20 most visited sites on the planet and has become a superpower on the internet with millions of transactions happening on its portal each day. So, what do you think about the rise of eBay? Do you think they'll become a successful company in the long run? And how about in the near future? Let's talk about it down in the comment section. Thanks for watching!